Hello, class. Here is a uh, a Nova uh, with Megastat um, YouTube video. So here we go. So I'm going to work on this problem, and I've already kind of typed in the data. Notice the data that is in row col row uh, form is now in column form, which I need for a Nova. So and then on the headers, because the duration is also in hours and kind of uh, a number kind of form, I made sure that ANOVA understands that it's not a number that needs to go into the uh, actual formulas. So I put a D1, D2, D4, D10, and D24 for the number of hours for the duration for, the, for this problem of uh, how much pesticide is absorbed into the skin after contact. So... Let's just work the problem. So, okay. So I want to work Megastat. I want to work add-ins Megastat. And I want to do an analysis of variance, which is also ANOVA. So, and I'm doing a one-factor ANOVA test. And basically, all I need to do now is select the data. So, I select the data. This is collect. This is selected. So we're good. Click OK. And there's the test. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. So, and now I can work the problem. So, we can look at this and say, okay, well, here is my p value, here is my f, here is my all this stuff. So, if we look at this particular problem in particular, right, I will not ask this of you to test, but here it is. So, I have the degrees of freedom for the duration, which is the treatment. So, this is four. This is 15, this is 19, and so forth and so on. The SS are also um, 3.143, although if I look at it, it says round to answers to four decimals. So, and this is not giving me four decimals, but if I click on the cell, uh, well, this one only gives me three decimals. So does that one, so does that. Okay, those are bad examples, but right here, there we have mul multiple decimals listed up here for us to use if we need more, right? So the p-value is given out to however many we need, and so is the f. So, well, so this only has three decimals, so I'm going to type them in. So does this one, this next one. So 1.455. Um, the next total SS is 4.598. The MS, which is right here, gives us four decimals already. So 0.7858. Next one, 0 0.0970. The F, 8.1. So I need four decimals here, so let me come over and click on it. 0, 0, 005. I'll do four decimals. The four decimals for the p-value as well, which is 0 0.0011. And so that's the information I need for this. Let me scroll down, check, show you that it works. All right, so make sure your data is entered correctly in that row column. It's a little bit challenging otherwise. So can you conclude the amount of skin virus? With time, use the alpha. Can we conclude the amount of amount in the skin varies with time? Use the alpha of 0 0.01 level significance. So there is enough evidence to conclude that the amount of pesticide in the skin varies with time, in the sense that it is that the the means are changing. So there is a change. So check. So. Okay, so that done, that aside, let me talk about the final. So the final will consist of this. I will ask you to essentially write the null and alternative hypothesis for this problem. I would also ask you to find the p-value uh, given this table. So I might give you essentially just this part as a cutout. <clears throat> and once I give you this value, there's the p-value. Okay, so there's the p-value, and you can tell me, okay, well, this p-value, well, it is it is less than our alpha, which is, um, what is our alpha, anyways? So our alpha is 
0 0.01. So it is less than 0 0.01. Uh, so we reject the null. So we reject the null in this case. And we can determine that, yes, there is at least one, um, there is at least one pair of means that is different. From there, I could ask, okay, well, which means are different? So we would have to go down here to the Tukey test. The Tukey test will tell us this. So given that I have an alpha of 0 0.01, this is my critical value right here. So not this one. So I'm ignoring this one. And it's focusing only on this one because my alpha is 0 0.01. And this gives me the alpha. And this is the critical value. So this sets up a null and alternative high new an, another null and alternative hypothesis. And the fact that so this is telling me let's compare this particular value is giving me the test statistic for comparing the mean for our duration of 24 hours compared to the duration of one hour. And it's giving me a test statistic of 4.77, which is larger than our critical value. And we can reject the null as far as, as that goes, which means that these two means, my D1, my one hour mean, and my 24 hour mean have a large a large difference, a large enough to be significantly statistically significant. So they are different. As well as this one. So there's another test statistic that is larger than my critical value that I need. So which means that my duration of 24 hours is the mean is very different from my duration of four hours mean. So statistically different enough for our critical value given test. So with that in mind, the other value that is highlighted here, right? So this is comparing the um, mean of the 10 hour duration of um, the blood of, of our, <coughs> how much pesticides is in, in absorbed into the blood after 10 hours, and this gives me the mean after one hours, and these two are very different as well, statistically different, but only for this 0 0.05 that I had erased. So 0 0.05, the critical value is far enough away. So the test statistic is far enough away, further away from zero than the critical value. Thus, we can reject the null there. But that was only for alpha of 0 0.05. Five, and we want an alpha of 0 0.01. So this test, this is not far enough away for what we want as a restraint. So I hope that helps explain this. So good luck. Uh, enjoy.